Yo, what's good YouTube? Today we're gonna look at how to go from a drum loop like that to a MIDI drum kit like that. That's very easy to do in Logic Pro, so of course in this video I'm gonna show you a few more tips and then I'm gonna try my drum kit and make a drum pattern. Let's not wait any longer and let's get started. The first thing I need is an audio drum loop. That's the one I found. Pretty cool, I found it on Splice. To convert it into a MIDI drum kit, it's very, very easy. I just drag and drop it on the left side and then I click onto Drum Machine Designer. That's the theory, but concretely now I have way too many tracks and it's gonna take me a lot of time for me to use this drum kit. What I wanna do before doing that is to shorten my drum loop. For me, in this section I have enough drum hits and I can make a drum kit out of it. So logically I will cut my tracks by half. Let's do it again to see. That's a bit better, now I'm gonna organize the drum kits. The first thing I can do is to delete the MIDI region. The problem we have is that we have way too many tracks, so as we can see I cannot know where's my kick, the snare or the hi-hats. So I'm gonna need to clean it a bit. The first thing I'm doing is that I extend my drum kit so I can see all the tracks. I can open the keyboard so then I can play every single track and rename the samples. I press command K to open it. By default everything is pitched, so everything goes from highs to lows. But I don't want that, so I'm gonna click on the quick sampler here on the left side. And I can turn off the key tracking. So now I can play on any keys and it's gonna stay at the same pitch. I'm gonna do that on every track and to save some time I can use the arrow keys so I can go from one sample to another. And now we're pretty good, everything is at the same pitch. I'm gonna listen to every sample, I'm gonna rename them and also get rid of the ones I don't like. Here I have a snare. I don't like this one, so I'm just gonna delete the track. This is another kick and I'm gonna keep it, so this way I'm gonna have two kicks with a different sound and a different intensity. And I carry on with all my samples. Here I have a hi-hat. I got a different one, again with a different texture. I don't like this sample, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And I carry on until I have all my samples. Here I can organize it in a logical order, so I'm gonna have all my kicks, my snares and the hats at the end. I can create a pattern region and make a drum rhythm. Let's keep it simple. And this is where it's interesting to have different hi-hats layer. So here I'm gonna use these quiet hats to fill the gaps, to fill the beats. Same thing for the snare, I can have another one to play some ghost notes or some off beats. To push it a bit further I can also play with the velocity. And this is how you can make your own drum kit and make a rhythm with it. So that's the end of the video and we looked at how to go from an audio loop to a MIDI drum kit. I think it's a very good feature of Logic Pro. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you can show me some support and subscribe to my channel, that'd be really appreciated. I'll see you very soon for a new tutorial. 
Take care. Bye-bye.